So, the third movie in the Rambo franchise. Is it called First Blood Part 3? No, it's called Rambo 3 because they like titling these movies ass backwards. Let's talk about Rambo 3. Rambo First Blood, or not Rambo First Blood, First Blood is still the best movie in the franchise so far that I've seen. But, this is better than First Blood Part 2. So, Rambo 3 is pretty alright. Actually, it's better than alright. But, again, like Rambo, or, I hate how they title these movies, but, like First Blood Part 2, uh, Rambo 3 start, just starts with Rambo just trying to live his life peacefully and just, you know, like, I don't want to be part of the wars. I don't want to be part of the violence, just let me be. But, like, first part, part two, something, that's what I'm going to say, something leads him to basically fight back against the Russians, and I believe Afghanistan. And Rambo goes on a one-man mission to do his thing, and what he does isn't very nice. I liked it. Um, it tries to add that emotional punch that the first film had. It doesn't reset level. It has an emotional punch, for sure. Because you connect with the side characters and you're like, I want to see these people succeed. In similar fashion to First Blood, where you're like, okay, Rambo's not doing anything wrong. I want to see Rambo succeed. I, I, I want to see this character win. Uh, it's the same exact feeling in this. And I like this because this kind of reminded me of like John Wick, um, which is weird because they're two completely different type of action movies. But yeah, the way the characters build up John Rambo in this reminds reminded me of how the characters in the John Wick film build up John Wick as this unstoppable killing machine, and the characters that hype up Rambo this hype him up as like this dude is your worst nightmare come to life and i dig that i think it's nice character building without you know like showing everything which is two thumbs up they added some humor in this which at first i kind of found it off-putting because in, in, in the first two movies there's not really any humor but then as the film progressed and you see more of John Rambo and you get a sense of actually what his personality is outside of, you know, war and his murder and killing. You're like, okay, this is more than I expected from this character. And I think it works. I think the humor aspects, it's not a lot. Don't get worried. It's not like every 10 seconds. So it only happens a few times. But to me, uh, the humor bits added to his character relation which is always nice and this without a doubt has the biggest finale so far of the three movies first blood still has the best because of the emotional weight behind it but just raw visceral action and suspense and intensity rambo 3 takes the game um rambo 3's finale is just absolute the explosions and gunfire and stealth ops and just all this crazy over the top action movie stuff which fits in the 80s perfectly awesome and fine so it was nice to see an 80s action movie just go as they say balls to the wall in action but yeah the negative it's just very samey to Rambo 2. It, it doesn't really do much to change up the formula from Rambo 2 out, or First Blood Part 2 outside of the, the environment change and the reasoning why he's, you know, leading this one-man army to stop the bad guys. And I get it. You can't really do much with a character that is all all they know is war and combat. It's kind of like the John Wick movies. where I love all three of them. I think three is the weakest. But that's for another set of, uh, of reviews. 
There's only so much action stuff that you can do before it gets stale. And this movie's not stale. I enjoyed it vastly. I really enjoyed it. Uh, mostly thanks to Stallone. I think he's great in these movies. I think he is fantastic as Don Rambo. And I really like Don Rambo as a character. But it's just, there's only so much you can see, like, a man fire a gun and get excited. There's only so many stabbings you can see before it's just like, okay, he stabbed the guy. Ooh. Ooh. Like, and it, if you watch action movies, I'm sure you feel the same way. Or it goes for, for all genres. Horror movies, the scares stop working on you. Romance films, the heart books and stop working on it. It happens. We just need to take a break from that genre for, for a bit. And I think that's what I'm going to try to take a break from uh, action for a week or two. Then jump into Rambo 4. Or it's just titled Rambo. so And then talk about that. But Rambo 3. Is it Samesies? Yeah. Is it Borderline the same exact plot as First World Part 2? Yeah, but hey, it's still fun, it's still enjoyable. Now Rambo is still a really cool character, Stallone is still fantastic. So, so Rambo 3, I really enjoyed myself, I had fun, and that's what we go to the movies for. Well, we can't go to the movies now, but that's why we watch movies and have fun. So, and what I'm going to review next after this is going to be a vast departure from Rambo. I'll leave it at that. But like always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.